butterflies welcome back so right here I'm just showing you some of the products that I will be using today so I got a message through Instagram and asked me how do I do a natural overlay of acrylic onto a natural nail bed especially if they're short and what way better yet to show you guys so first I am placing my little pearl right here I, this is the consistency that you're trying to look for whenever you are doing a overlay on a very short nail bed so right here is not what you're looking for at all so right here I'm gonna be showing you what I do so I'm gonna go ahead and swipe halfway with my brush and place it for two seconds then pat it onto a paper and then place it onto the nail so right here I'm gonna show you once again I'm gonna do it two seconds go ahead and pat it onto the paper and then place it onto the nail or well, in this case on the paper that's the consistency that you're trying to look for and you're going to be getting the same type of beads over and over so i'm going to do it one more time so you can see that i'm getting the same size of bead and they do kind of expand it just depends on the monomer that you're using but this is just self-leveling so then you're able to actually start molding it onto the nail so let's go ahead and start doing it and i do apologize on the lighting of the video because i did record this in a different section of my house i thought it was going to be better but it just didn't really work so right here as you can see without my hair on the way i did place my first beads now there's three different ways that you could do an overlay on a natural nail bed a one bead method a one bead ball method a two bead ball method and the other one is kind of the same to the second one but I'll be showing you so the first bead I place it near the cuticle area and then my second bead I place it around the free edge of my nail and then I do extend it just a tad bit so whenever I do go ahead and file and just kind of shape it I have the same shapes throughout all my entire nails just so you know I'm doing it in this color as well because I felt like you guys were going to be able to see it better opposed to me using clear acrylic. And this method works as well whenever you do have a nail biter. I'm a nail biter myself, especially if you're trying to place a form, you could just easily place those beads like that and just tad, you know, extend it out so you're able to place that form or nail tip. I don't recommend using a nail tip whenever you are extending the natural nail bed because it'll just I feel like it would just break off easily so right here I'm doing the same exact thing I am placing my first bead near the cuticle area trying to avoid not to touch my skin and people always ask me why do you say that because me personally I have a very sensitive skin so anything that is not supposed to be on my skin I get an allergic reaction even then it's a good habit of not trying to you know expose your skin too much to chemicals and that includes like for your clients and stuff like that so right here as you can see I had placed my second bead near the free edge and then I'm just patting it and patting it to kind of flatten it out whenever you are doing an overlay on a very short nail there's no need for an apex that's just my preference and whenever you feel like you didn't add enough product it doesn't matter you just go in with very tiny acrylic beads and this is where it comes into hand as well playing around with your ratios with liquid and powder ratios so here is the second way that you could do it where you could um not your second way but third way placing your first bead on the free edge and brushing it up trying to avoid touching my skin once again I am using a very big brush I don't know why I should use a small one and then I kind of flatten it out and brush brush and pat just making sure the shape that it is exactly what I'm looking for just like the other ones and then I go ahead and place my second bead near the cuticle area and I do tend to get very close not too close but close enough to the cuticle area where it's not like it's gonna lift my nail that's not what we're looking for <laughs> and you could do this with clear acrylic like I said and I think this is a great method especially if you have a very brittle nails and you're just trying to grow out your nails and you know have them more have more strength to it 
this is the best way that I have come across of doing overlays on natural nail beds. It does take time, it does take practice. A lot of people that are so used to doing long nails, they forget the to do short nails because it's so complicated. Well, not so complicated, it's just very complex that it's just, you don't really get to do a lot of nail design on them, but yet you could still do a lot. There's so many things you could do with short nails, but, I mean, I really hope you guys enjoy this. I did ask on my Instagram who struggles with, you know, short nails and a lot of people <laughs> said that they struggle. So that's why I decided to do this video. Even I, sometimes I struggle in doing long nails, short nails. It all depends whatever you get accustomed to doing occasionally. And so that's why I always try to do short, long nails. I'm always like making sure that I don't get stuck to doing one certain type of length or shape of nails because whenever you get too accustomed to doing nails you kind of lose practice doing other different lengths of nails so right here i'm just showing you that even with short little overlay nails you can still rock them you can still do cute little designs i decided to keep them matte i am trying out some new products that i got from jacqueline acostas i am using some hollow rainbow um, glitter I don't think they're glitter flakes that's what they are I am using her new shimmer matte top coat which I love it I have not seen any other company come out with something like that and I did want to make sure that you guys enjoy the video so I did not speed up the part where I was laying the acrylic because I really wanted you guys to intake that information that I was letting you know so we almost come close to the end of the video so remember if you have liked this video make sure you guys give it a thumbs up it just lets me know that you are enjoying the content that i am putting out don't forget to share and subscribe and if you do subscribe make sure you guys hit that little bell so you guys get notified whenever i do upload new videos see you guys until next time bye